What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. And I think this is going to be mainly a support episode. I kind of wanted to do it last episode, but I had reached my limit. So, which by the way, somebody asked me uh, in a comment, why don't I do support episodes where I just sit on them? You got to remember, I'm recording, you know, like three hours straight with talking. And for some reason, I get really hungry after I record for that long, probably because I'm at a heightened state. You know, I get myself excited and, you know, enjoy the game. So, while well, you guys might just take a break and eat something, or, you know, you might be lying back in the bed, I'm sit up, you know, awake, and I'm doing things. So, for me, after I do a battle, I would ideally like to just end the recording session there, but unfortunately we have the monastery stuff, so I push myself to get through the monastery stuff, but the support combos I just like to enjoy, so. Dear God, please watch. Why am I here with Marianne? Well, because she has a lost item. Yes, this is mine. Thank you for returning it. And then... We got a new support. Now, a little goal that I wanted to do, and I think I'll go ahead and do it right now. We need to make a trip to Annette. All right, so here's the deal. There have been a little... When it comes to the support combos, now that I've gotten Mercedes and I have Marianne, I was literally only getting Mercedes because Kuru5 wanted to see her. And he was her, she was his second favorite out of the students. His first is Petra. But let me show you what I want. Now, here's an important, an important question to those of you who already played the game. Because I think people were still in the middle of the game when they told me this. Is it true that you cannot get Hilda in other routes? And your house leader, of course. Is it absolutely pop? Well, when I say get, I don't mean... Let me rephrase it. Is it true that you cannot get support ranks with them? Because if that is true, then I want to get the support ranks I can for Claude and Hilda. For all of theirs. So for Claude, that just means Petra, Annette, Ingrid, and that's it, you know. Which I, were, I was already planning on getting all three of them, so that works out. And of course, Shamir and Cereal. Uh, I plan on getting regardless, but they're in every house, so. Hilda, Mercedes we already have, Fernadette, Fernadette Casper, Sylvain, and Annette again! And Annette just so happens to be at rank C. So there have been a lot of you don't think We're here. Well, she doesn't have a lost item. We're gonna see if we can give her some gifts and uh, if that will get her to join the party. So Thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. Well, she really liked the owl, owl feather. Did that do it. It probably would be easier to see Annette's ranks if... Yeah, alright, let's go to Marianne just so I can know uh, how my ranks are doing. Because it'll be easier if, you know, Marianne's rank is out of the way. I can just take a glance and look and see if she's done. Oh, she's by the dorms. Okay. Professor. Let's speak. Um, Professor? What's wrong? There's something I need to say. Okay, I'm- oh, hold on, one second. Sorry about that, I, I hadn't put my phone on Do Not Disturb, which meant somebody could have interrupted the recording. Although I just did it myself, so... <laughs> there we go. Anyways... Uh, I'm happy to listen. Thank you. How should I put this? I don't seem to be getting along with everyone. I don't contribute much either. Yeah, it's because there could be misunderstanding. Well, in the case of Lysithia, misunderstanding. Oh, no, not just Lysithia, but also Leone. Am I a nuisance to you, Professor? If so, I'll leave. Absolutely not. Of course, my adoptive father may not understand, but if I must... You're not going anywhere. Yeah, tell me about him. I'm curious. Oh, my adoptive father is one of the new nobles of the Alliance. 
His territory is to the north. I am aware. Well, I didn't know he was in the north. He was a distant relative who took me in after my parents vanished. Oh, he is related. Okay. He's blessed with great drive and ambition. Some may go so far as to call it avarice. He wishes to marry me off to a powerful noble. That's why he sent me to the academy. Yeah, see, I ain't... I need to meet him, all right? Let me know where he lives. If I left now, I'm sure he'd have a strong opinion about it. Yeah? Oh, sorry. I strayed away from the topic. I'm not good at telling stories either. You should have more self-confidence. I think that's all you need. I understand. Uh, good. I'm glad. So, as I was saying, are you sure I'm not bothering you, Professor? 110%. I watch out for you every battle. You're not a bother at all. Oh, I'm so grateful to hear you say that. What I'm trying to say is, you should keep your distance. I'm more trouble than I'm worth. No, see, keeping you thinking you need to keep your distance is what's part of the problem. I won't agree to that, exactly. You only say that because you don't know the real me. Then show me. I'm sorry, I have to go. All right, not this support, it seems. If I remember correctly, Mary Ann's was at C+. Oh no. Okay, good, I don't have any. Actually, I have one with Claude. Which makes sense. I've been meaning to mention something. Mention of many things. Okay. Um, first off, Edelgard. I checked off camera. Um, because I didn't think this support well, I she was the only one I checked. Um I checked her supports. And I, I was on the female side. You Edel Edelgard is you can get her up if you're male or female. Um, which kind of interests me. I might actually try the female route just to see um, how that works. I, I'm a let's player after all, and I um, I value getting all all, all sorts of uh, supports. So, uh, and that was quite fast. I did not expect that Edelgard is complete. <laughs> like I don't want to say she's. Actually, I don't know about Dimitri. No, I'm pretty sure Dimitri doesn't have one an S rank. And Claude doesn't have an S rank. He only has an A rank. So, I just find that interesting. But anyways. Okay. Now, let's go back to Annette. I don't know about any of the others. I don't even know if, um... Uh, what's her name? The teacher... Manuela. I suspect that she is... But I haven't looked. Oh, and don't tell me, guys. I'd like to actually look. You know what? Why don't we do that? Like, it doesn't matter when I see it, right? So if you go to extras, you can look at your support combos, and that's been a feature in every Fire Emblem game. Like, so if you're in a different save, and you know, you wanna go back and look at some support combos, which I often like doing, that's how I got, or tried to get all the Morgans, uh, cause I just like looking at them. At least I hope nothing's gonna be spoiled by this. If it is, then you guys are here with me. Oh yeah, so this, that's expected, right? That's very expected. So yeah, if we just move to the female side. Yeah, it, Edelgard was the first one. She can, I guess, she can do it with anybody. <laughs> That's quite interesting. And I'm also noticing that Edelgard and Claude have the most, uh... Like, Dimitri seems, he only has four support combos, but they both have five. So let's see. Well, let's start with the males first. Well, I've already, you've already seen the males. We know what it is for the males. Dorothea. Okay, interesting. Mercedes? Well, that surprised me. <laughs> and nobody, nobody in my house. Well, that makes sense. They all do. Yeah, that makes sense. 
I need to speak about Flane. Okay. Mon- Wow! Not Manuela. Oh, that is... Hmm. Interesting. Oh, and so this. Which I believe is the case for, yeah, any of them. I only say Manuela was surprising because I checked out the Twit Gamer, um, his playthrough. And, well, not, I haven't now because I think he's way far ahead of me. Um, but he chose a female avatar and Manuela said the same line she said about her being available to her. Well, wow. Okay. And I, I so, yeah, this is perfect then. <laughs> I'm missing out absolutely nothing if I pick this house. All right. Well, yeah, I definitely might try the female route later. For now, let's get back. Actually, let's do Claude and Marianne, because then I can just... Basically trying to be as lazy as possible, I guess, with looking. Marianne, please accept my apologies for my behavior yesterday. I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Asking you about your family like that was pretty insensitive of me. No matter how curious I am, that's no way to treat someone. I'm sorry. I suppose. I can't- I don't remember it that clearly. I know it was interesting. Oh, no. You weren't being insensitive. I just didn't want to talk about it. I don't spend much time talking about myself. Not to people, anyway. If not people, then with who? Unpeople? <gasps> Non-people? Animals, but- Well, yes. I'm much more comfortable talking to anyone who isn't a person. Don't tell me that's gonna give him an idea. I was actually joking, but now I'm mystified. Who is it you like to talk to? Dorte the horse. Ah, of course. Good old Dorte. And does he understand what you tell him? We understand each other. He tells me when he's sleepy, or when his stomach hurts, or if his nose itches. That's true! Sounds like a complainer, that Dorte. <laughs> but let's table this fascinating discussion for just a moment. Now that we've gotten in some small talk, I'd like to know what you're hiding. You are hiding something, right? Your lineage, perhaps? Claude! Uh, no. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If it's all just idle gossip, that's fine too. But if it's something silly like, My ancestors were cursed, therefore I'm cursed! You should know that I won't accept that nonsense. I'm getting the feeling more and more that Claude isn't from the herb. His origins, he may have grown outside the Alliance. That sort of thinking is stupid, and that's all there is to it. Say your ancestors were thieves. Mm -hmm. Does that make you a thief, even if you've never stolen a thing? Of course not. But people have burdens to bear from the moment they're born. My burdens are so big that I... I'm sorry, I can't discuss this anymore. I really want to figure out what is... I need an A rank with somebody with her. People certainly are born with burdens. She's right about that. But Marianne, don't you know that you can choose not to carry them? I don't think Margrave Edmund would be very happy with that. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Annette's just staring at me as I just viewed that. Okay. So back to the, uh... Storehouse? Oh, wait, no. You don't think... Okay, so mm. that failed. Mm. Well, we can try doing some other stuff. Oh, actually. So these new stores I figured opened up. Welcome. Um, not you. Please come again. Over here. Hello there. I can buy some stuff. Ah, shoot. I wish I knew what she liked. Return soon, please. Maybe... Hey, welcome. You have something? Mm. Oh. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. Out of stock? Oh, you only have one. I guess that makes sense. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. It's worth it if... Come again. It'll actually boost her. Just a bit. Professor. Hey. But first... Yeah, it seems like... Wait, don't tell... Okay, Annette is decent at cooking, I think. Hmm. 
Hmm. And today's special. It's really good with the Alliance members. Which sucks, but... Alright. We'll use one of our points, and... Well, I she doesn't really need... Let's get the two uh, members I'm looking at most. So, after Annette, I want a Pegasus Knight. And that brings us to Ingrid. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? Which ironically means I'm getting all three uh, female members of the Blue Lions. I think it's wonderful to be able to eat a nice meal every day. Oh! Who did it work for? Ingrid! That's surprising. Well, shoot. Now what do I, I do? Thinking. Okay, well, we'll have to wait for Ingrid. We do have one more thing. Which we could try. Professor. I'm not sure what stat, if we have a stat up right now. Let's see. We have speed, which is decent. But, when might another? Just, yeah, some HP actually would be nice. to me cooking is my forte at least I think it is I don't usually have a problem but sometimes things get out of control okay does that mean it worked okay now the bigger question darn it Okay, looks like I'll have to resort to those gifts, if they even work. Or it might just be that she can't get two ranks in one day. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't feel like it Let's should see. be. Let's see if these gifts I got were right. Animals. Thank you so much. Wow. That was a waste. How about this? Thank you so much. Nope. All right. Let's go find Ingrid. <sighs> That's the third time this month. What she? Oh, and I realize I know places where Ingrid and Petra's uh, voice actors are from. I'll speak about Petra later, and I'm not sure if I'll ever speak about Ingrid's. Well, that's that. Father never relents. You don't like your f- Wow. The blue lion seems so fascinating! Oh, Professor. Hello. Did you need something? I- Well, I don't think it's my business, but... What were you doing just now? Well, um... That is... I was just tossing out something I have no need of. It's important to keep our spaces clean, after all. You are correct. You do well to remember that too, Professor. A clean space makes for a clean mind. Or some such. Getting rid of things you have no need for is the first step to managing one's belongings in an economical way. You know, Ingrid, I don't know you that well. But right now I can tell you're putting on a front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Could you help tidy my room sometime? Well, I'd love to help. I don't want people getting the wrong idea with me being alone in your room. Ingrid, you're starting off right. Despite my family's nobility, we have never been particularly wealthy. Really? So my father raised me to be conservative with my resources, paring down when necessary. Why do you seem like you're going to be a better Leone? He also encouraged me to keep my living spaces immaculate. So the two go hand in hand, I suppose. Really? He said to... He... Mm... I'll say this. I think he'd be happy to hear you say that. Yeah, what was it you threw out? Oh, uh, just a scrap of paper. It was already written on, so no good for note-taking. 
And obviously, I can't use it to clean my lance. True. So I tossed it. No need to hang on to inconsequential things, you know. Professor, did you come to check on me for any particular reason? Uh, no, I just come and hang out. Just wanted to talk with you. Oh, well, if there's nothing important, I'll be on my way then. All right. I still have some cleaning to take care of, after all. Talk to you later, Professor. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Darn it, Annette. You know what? We're not done. Darn it all, we are not done. There is one more thing I can do. And I promise you, if Annette just suddenly pops up with her support rank done... Oh, okay. There aren't any. Good to know. Hey. Oh, yes. Now that's what I'm talking about. Annette and... Oh, wait. This is mage training too, huh? Hmm. Then in that case, well, let's just see. Is Ingrid... She's on here. So, might as well. Singing is so much fun. Everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. Regardless of the quality, this is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity. Okay, did I... Darn it. Oh, 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 oh! Yes! It's time! Another member acquired? Let's teleport some random place. Here we go. Professor. What's up, Annette? It took a lot to get I'm you so up. I'm so sorry, Professor. I somehow overslept and missed our training session. It's okay. I didn't mean to cause you and the others so much trouble. Imagine if that had happened during one of our missions. It really is inexcusable. That is true, though. But you need to rest more. It's just, when I'm studying tactics, I lose track of time and... Oh, no. Tactics? Oh, the Blue Lions. Starting off right. Um, What was I going to say? I should have... That was... that. Remember when I said... Uh, I. There are times when I want to say two things. The first thing, reason I said oh no, was because I could have gotten the tactics, pr or no, I had the tactics primer in uh, in the inventory. There was something with tactics that had a three star I could have given her. So that's what I should have picked, huh? Oh, who am I kidding? I've always been like this. She's like more, well, not like Morgan, but Morgan likes studying tactics as well. Before I came to the Officers' Academy, I was a student at the School of Sorcery in Ferdia. Yes, I see you're a mage. I'm interested to see what type of magic you can use. Even back then, I was pulling all-nighters well before the exams. And I never even noticed I was harming myself. I'm just too focused on my goal. Oh, yeah, we gotta work on that. I know I've already told you this, but I really love to learn new things. It's a passion of sorts. I first realized I had the learning bug when I was about four or five years old. My father was so happy to see me using magic. I'm surprised. People say Lysithia is the best mage. I mean, Lysithia is, I think Lysithia is a more balanced, studious individual, and that's why she excels better than Annette. Seeing him happy made me happy too, and that made me want to work even harder. But something tells me Annette won't be too far behind. If only things could have stayed like that. What happened? Yeah, what do you mean? When I was about 13, my father left home. He was a devout man, so I figured he'd gone to the monastery. That's why I went to the School of Sorcery, so that I could eventually get accepted at the Officer's Academy. Oh! Gilbert! I studied harder than ever, and sure enough, I finally earned a referral. Unfortunately, my passion for learning became more of an obsession. I got so focused, I kind of forgot how to relax. You never said if you found your father. Feels like I've been running in circles ever since. Rest is just as important as work. That's true. Just look at today. If my hard work stops me from working hard, what good is it? Well, 
Okay, it's decided. From now on, I'll try my best not to try my best. That's not what I meant, but if that's how you look at it, that's confusing. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I meant is that I'll try... I mean, I'll slow down a bit. Why are all... <laughs> Why are... Both Ingrid and Annette have started blushing during these conversations. From now on, if you see me going overboard, just let me know. I'm a new woman after all. Okay. I will do that. Alright. Let's track her down for the final time. I think if I just go down this aisle. Oh, yeah, she's literally right here. There the beautiful... Recruit. Huh? You think I would be a good fit for your class? Mm, I'm not sure. Aren't you serious? Alright. Well, in that case, we've gotten Annette up to B. I do actually think that she'll join us, just not this mission. So, since um, she's already at B, there's no point. At least, I'm assuming. I think next time she'll just... Some time will pass, and then she'll join. Which means it's open season to bring Ingrid. And I think this will even be the max amount of people I can bring. To think that I haven't, but I also. I need your help on this next mission. Yes. All right. Actually. Hi, professor, I've actually got. Point. Yeah. Just wanted to check. All right. So let's check our roster. Ingrid. I need to have this memorized. The only person who's a currently a Pegasus Knight. I mean, we do have, um, I think it was Celtis. Sedith, there we go. Sedith. <laughs> Forgetting that Sedith is a Wyvern Rider, which is also a flying class. Hmm. Interesting. What are your Knight Kneeler, Tempest Slant, and Grounder? And you have Lady Knight. Oh, you're good with Gambits. Okay. Born the eldest daughter of Count Galatea. Comes engaged to Glenn. Oh. Oh, she lost her fiance. Okay, that, wow. Wow, and she dislikes the people at Dusker. How does that even work? Yo, nah, seriously, I think the Blue Lions are the best. Like, as far as story base goes. Like, it seems like, because what I'm saying is, uh, Dadu is from Dusker, right? The second in command? The right hand man of her house leader? Yo, yo, that must be so tense. Okay. That is incredibly interesting. All right. Well, with that said, we're not done with our supports actually. Hanuman. Young what? Who plays? Actually, I, have a I forgot to talk about Flane. Hold on, no. No, 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 no. Let's go to Rhea. And I didn't mention where I heard Petra's voice actor. All right, we gotta do some things, all right? For next port convo. Where are you, Ra Oh, she's out here, that's right. So when I uh, heard Rhea talking to, uh, to Sedith, and she was like, you're sister and I remember how Rhea is oh basically I went back and looked at a previous episode with Flame and how she was talking about candies and I looked at her and then I went wait a second Perhaps. her hair color it looks more like Rhea's in fact I don't think no 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 
Can I look at the su er, support? I should be able to, right? No, she's gone. Well, we, j we just saw her supports, right? Or her face. She looks like a near carbon copy of a younger Rhea. And if you're telling me the Death Knight took her, what use would she be for ransom? Not much. But if she's basically a younger Rhea being grown, uh, that explains all too well what she might, why, why they might have taken her. And if Rhea's got a crest, another thing I'm wondering is if Rhea is, I basically suspect some kind of cloning process. Remember, um, it's not, there's so many S names, Saros, yes. Saros. I think Ray is a clone or descendant of Sarah somehow. And so is Flame. I spec that like it's a, it's odd for Fire Emblem, but it almost seems like they're they've cloned uh Saros. That's why her body wasn't in her coffin and just my sword. That's my current thinking. It maybe it's wild and out there, but I can't deny that Flame looks way more like Rhea than she does with Seta, or than she does with Seta. Then how Rhea said, I consider her to be family. Anyways, they probably are giving Flane a new, like the most loyal church member. A no, new South is they give to the most devoted member of the church and then they raise them as a sibling and get them used to the monastery and everything. That's what I'm thinking. Again, wild and out there, but yeah. So that was the first thing. Now, back to Petra. So I just want you guys to hear Petra's voice one more time, case. Flame was childnapped. That is what you are thinking? And the villain is inside our monastery? Hmm, I must have admittance. One person has been catching my eye. Okay, remember how I said also in Petra's house, that Fernadad and Bernadetta were simultaneously voiced by Naofumi and Raftalia. Petra's voice actor has also been in that show. And she's been, she's voiced two characters recently on my other channel, you guys may know. But just, just play the clip. Sir Hero. Uh, huh? <sighs> it's her. Would you kindly allow me to switch parties and join the shield hero? Yeah, once I realized that, I'm like, okay. It just seems like all the people from Rising of the Shield Hero are in one house. Shamir is a knight before... Doesn't make me look at Petra any differently. After all, the first area I heard her voice actor was Mega Drive. Um, and Mega Drive is one of my favorite characters. I really like her voice actor, basically. I think she's... I'm not sure how new she is, but she's new to me. I think she's really great. All right, her voice actor. So, but it's just that she's played some characters that, well, with now for me and Raftalia there, if I get all the, the um, Black Eagles are gonna be very interesting uh, for a different reason. But let's go back to Hanuman. Cause he lost. I can't believe I left this behind. Well, thank you so much for retrieving it. I'm not sure. And I can't find out who this anti-class belongs to, but it may be belong to the person we might find in here. Well, one of the two. Manuelas. I'm not sure, but um, oh yeah. Support. And there's the man. Actually, I want my bow training up. Faculty training, if you would be so kind. Good, come on. Can I get a little bit better than that? Oh, I can only do one. Well, shoot. That's no good. And that did not raise her rank. Okay, then, um, let's go ahead and go here. Professor. Hello, Animan. What's up? Ah, Professor. Always a pleasure to see you. I wonder, might you have a moment to chat? Of course. What do you want? Uh, come now. 
You have no need to be on guard. I was trying to do it softly. I'd never cause you harm. You're far too valuable a specimen. Oh. Well, that is to say, too valuable a member of the Academy. Staff. Yeah, Claude did mention he might. Yeah. Okay, now I am on guard. Indeed. The further my crest research progresses, the closer you come to learning the truth of your heritage. Is it not so? I know my dad and my mom. When I learned you bore the lost crest, the very crest of flames itself, I set about learning everything I could about your past. Oh, that is interesting. Please tell me. What was the origin of your bloodline? How have the events of your life been shaped by your lineage? I became somewhat obsessed, I must admit. I can't blame you. You investigated me? Nothing so crass as an investigation. No, I researched. I spoke to mercenaries whom you've worked with in the past to learn about your life before the Academy. And what'd you find out? Because I don't even know. Of course, I also contacted Gerald and his mercenary friends. Your father does keep rather interesting company. I'm excited to share with you what I learned, but I do ask that you correct me if I am mistaken on any account. If I can. The story begins with Gerald serving as captain of the Knights of Seros. And see, that's another thing. What if... What if I was supposed to be another Seros incarnation, but I ended up male and they got rid of me? And Rhea noticed that. She was like, ah, what of me? This is a really far out theory for me. <laughs> but I, I just, Flame's appearance just caught me off guard. When I saw her off camera, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I can't, I hate when I figure out stuff on, off camera, but anyways. There was a woman at the monastery with whom Gerald was quite close. Or, yeah, yeah, my mom? At first, it seemed obvious this mystery woman was your mother. Alas, that cannot be the case. The timing is all wrong. Nani! As it was told to me, the woman in question passed away shortly before Gerald left the monastery. Yet your birth occurred sometime later, while Gerald was taking work as a mercenary. This, of course, presumes your age is accurately reported. If you were born sooner, well, the story would be quite different, would it not? True. I don't know. It is intriguing though, yes? Why is your age so difficult to pin down? Because I'm an avatar. <laughs> they don't want you to have an actual age. For example, Gerald never once spoke of his time serving as captain of the Knights. That's quite a secret to keep for all those years. Well, to be fair, my mom didn't mention she worked for NASA for a very long time, and I mentioned to her how much I loved space, so I can understand that. In the end, your old acquaintances had little definitive to say about either of you. However, they all agreed on one thing. Your father and yourself were a strong pair. Warriors to be respected and feared. Hannah man, I certainly want to get your combos up the most. You in particular. In fact, many came to know you as the Ashen Demon. Why? I don't want to be related to this guy. I know it's just a name, but like, it's just further proving, so to speak. They say you would destroy your enemies without a hint of emotion on your face. The mercenaries I spoke to revered you as a living legend of sorts. All this is really saying is why I am the avatar and justifying my mannerisms. So, that is what I learned. And I admit, it is barely more than I knew before. Well, no, you gave me some more info. The next step in my research is to ask your blood for answers and hope that it is more forthcoming than your past acquaintances. I'm fine with that. I'm surprised my father didn't mention me picking up the sword. You'd think he would have. All right, well, on that, we're out. And I'll save the rest of my gifts because they don't need to be used. Oh, but I do have two more. Actually, we may not be. Who knows, maybe I'll, um, Get another. Did you sum up what? What would make you suspicious? Ah, oh, so close. I should try gauntlets, but. Uh.
Um, you all, you all saw that, right? Um, well, that's my, my game crashed. I was about to save and my dadgum game crashed. Well, luckily, third, I, all I did was support convos, so. Do I have to redo all those, though? Oh, shoot. I gotta... Okay, give me a sec. I'll tell you what, though. Hey, welcome. I'm gonna use this to my advantage. This one, yes? I thank you. Though that's expensive. But perhaps worth it? Annette likes studying, so this should work. That's actually bogus. Okay. Okay, now if the game will save... I believe that's all the supports I did. Marianne's back at B. Um... Yeah. Annette's at B, Ingrid at C, Hanuman at C. Mm, yeah. Okay. Now that I go use up my other two points again... Maybe I'll get something oh, no. other than good. Uh-uh. Alright. Well, as far as faculty goes... I mean... Honestly? I'm curious to see what that C rank looks like with Rhea. Plus, more importantly, I go to Hanuman, but I'm pretty sure he's dark magic, or reason. I want white magic right now. May the God... Wow. Yeah, like I said. Nosferatu! I still have much to learn. Okay. No support. But I got Nosferatu. And I can't use it. Um, if I were to try to reclass myself, I don't have another seal. I'll wait it out until we get to another mission and I can get this as class's skills. Although I found out even if you reclass in the middle, your experience that you gain with that class, as far as gaining that class's mastery, it stays. So... Maybe not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I think I'm good. I love to just advance to the next day. Well, I mean, why not? We're done, right? Yeah. And might as well host a tea party. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't it nice taking a moment to relax? I suppose. Why, thank you so much. Mm, smells good. So let's talk. <laughs> oh, without a doubt, that's number one. Plans for the future? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Our, our... Yeah. There we go. Three for three. My ideal partner is religious, but only just. And they have enough money to live on for all our days. I see. Okay. Perfect. Um, I guess. Oh, right. Oh, really? Professor? Oh, oh really? How about it? <laughs> hmm? Professor? Yeah. 
Hmm. Oh, I... Don't they say something different? Hang on. Yeah. Incredible. Professor. Ooh, whoa. Everyone here whoa. is an heir or an heiress. But not me. I'm just a commoner. What was that? Um... It seems like... Everyone here is an heir or an heir. Oh! You can ask them what their stuff is about, I think. Like... Everyone here. No, um... Okay. Everyone so you literally do have to zoom in. That's not me being whatever. I just... It's just a good thing to do. All right. That was a lovely cup of tea. Thank you, Professor. Please call me again. Well, I mean, she gets a C rank. My charm. What is this? Persona 5? What? Oh, I guess because of the, uh, the flags, right? All right. So if I were trying to get a mage, uh, sixty-seven percent. I guess I'll just wait till I get. Yeah, that'll be better. I'll wait till I am proficient at white magic, or I get the three star, whatever that special ability is, and then I'll switch to the white mage. Because advanced classes are actually level 20. They're not that far off. But with the right uh, placement, we can have that pretty soon. So. All right, game, don't crash on me. Because if you had crashed during the battle, I would have literally cried. Though I think the game auto saves as you fight, just in case. All right. Oh, I got to make sure. I think I customized Mercedes. Uh, it's fire, yeah. Advanced fire magic. Nice and accurate. It's pretty weighty, but as we expect it. Then heal, physic, and Nosferat too. Be interesting to see. She doesn't have a special ability, right? Or... Oh, no! Archery! Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. I would actually be very curious to see how you do with the bow. Because you come with one. So, and yeah, she's not meant for armored or any other weapons besides, she's basically a good ranged unit. Okay. And what about, um, yeah, that was right. I want to see, I should look at their, whoa. One second, one second. Let me. What, what am I looking for? Stats, right? Wait, can you not tell what they're proficient in or what their special ability or unique skill would be until you recruit them? Because I thought I remember Mercedes not having one, actually. Or what she's not weak to. I guess it's like a professor's. Because you wouldn't need this unless you're the professor. So. And they both have crests. Okay. Well, yeah, that's basically all I need then. She doesn't have a special skill as of right now. That's fine. She'll be, uh, and she won't even be a part of this battle. Merced as well, though, now. And I was going to do one more thing, I thought. Right. Since we didn't see. Uh, not reclass. Certifications. How does Mercedes' basic classes look? Interesting. That kind of works, actually. No, not at all. Then, yeah, she so she would have been a monk first. And then her second. No, I, I do like the mercenary look, but no. A thief, not at all. Her hair glitches through the armor. No. Uh, potentially. I mean, just for look-wise. I would never make her a cavalier. 
that's a terrible idea. Um, Brigan? Okay. I do like, it has a wintry kind of feel. An archer I feel like she could be. Um, though it doesn't really fit her. I feel like someone like her either needs to be, well yeah, she'll be a mage. Or a priest, which she is right now. And there's a Pegasus Knight. So, all right. Cool. I'm not gonna look at Ingrid until she's actually a part of the party. But okay, next time we go, I wanna start the mission right now, but I shouldn't. Maybe I'll take a break and start it later. But I should go get some food. Well, yeah, especially since the place closes in like a few minutes that I wanna go get some food from. Not a few minutes, like 30. I can probably make it. Um, if I stop now. So with that said, this has been Blade. I hope you guys enjoyed that little, I felt more, you know, me. You know, now I feel kind of tired and if I start a mission, it'd be hard. So I definitely want to take a break before I start it, if I start it, but I gotta do Xenoblade as well. So yeah, I probably have to wait another week. This is the hard part. Like, I just want to say this last thing about recording. I, I think, at least for reco recording as I do, you know, if you do it as this is what you do, then you can just record one day and then, you know, wait the next day. For me, if I don't record, that means another week. Um, and the only reason I'm doing this and Xenoblade now is because I only recorded, uh, like, technically like 40 minutes, but the recording session is a lot longer because I have to redo some stuff and, you know, other things. But one episode, right? At least I think. But anyways, uh, Xenoblade, I have enough time to do, so I'm, and I need to because I only have one episode of Xenoblade left, um, which ended off, I think I... I shouldn't talk about Xenoblade in another uh, series, but yeah. So I have to go do that, and it frustrates me because I want to play Fire Emblem right now. Fire Emblem, out of all the games I'm playing, I want to play the most. Just letting you guys know. And it hurts because this one, like, it was new when it first came out. Now it's been like a month and people have already seen it, you know. Now people are doing discussion videos on it. And when that's over, then people will be like, oh, you're still playing Fire Emblem? So, trust me, I get it. I know people will like it more often. I would like to play it more often. But this is as fast as I can go. So, until then, this has been Blade. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. And now it's time for the question of the day. And for this one, I'm going a little less Fire Emblem and more general. Because I think it'll make more uh, cases available by doing this. The question is, can you remember the worst time that a game crashed on you? Because I'm just thinking about it, if it had been in the middle of a battle, like I was near the end, and if it crashed then, um, I updated my game after this, which added some interesting new things that we will talk about in the next episode. But I'm just curious, can you remember the worst time a game has crashed on you? So please, if it's happened before, post your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.